This is Mark Foster, lead singer of Foster the People, who are best known for their hit song, Pumped Up Kicks. He is also the other half of my freak show. The Divine guided me to make many, many videos about this guy, trying to get him to come forward and to speak his truth and be the other half of this divine plan. But he never did. So the number one reason why I hate Mark Foster's guts is because he never spoke his truth. Dude hung me out to dry and made my life extremely difficult. Why? Because he and I are part of a divine plan designed to help Bernie Sanders become president. He flaked out. I didn't. So the top reason I hate him is for not speaking my truth, which cost me a great deal of credibility in the process. At the moment, I have about 5,500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. As a divine source of truth, that's pretty bad. and is a direct result of Mark Foster's free will decision not to come forward and to speak his truth. Number two, he completely ignored me. He didn't even have a friend reach out to me and say, hey, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but he's just not into it. I would have appreciated any sort of acknowledgement or recognition. Instead, I got none. I was just ignored because he and his camp were playing a little game of let's make the dumb psychic think she's wrong. The problem is, is that I'm not a dumb psychic. As a matter of fact, I'm not only a psychic. I am a sort. I am a source of absolute divine truth. Therefore, the other side decided to grab onto Mr. Foster's ankle <laughs> in pursuit of truth, and they do not intend on letting go of that ankle, as there is a higher, higher good at stake here for the country and the world at large. Number three, I wrote on Reddit that if he didn't come forward, I would think that he was a total douche and my heart would close towards him. Well, guess what happened? Now, I think he's a total douche. Um, I feel like if I was on fire and he was given a fire extinguisher to put me out, he would walk away and go make himself a sandwich. That's essentially the way I see him because he sold me down the river in many, many ways. In order to walk this path, I had to go through my savings, my 401k, and now the equity in my condo in order to speak for the other side. So while everyone else think that's, thinks that's crazy, I see it as necessary because I'm walking this path alone. So as a result, I see Mark Foster and his free will decision as really douchey. Number four, I also see him as trying to kill me. Because another thing is because no one's really listening to me, and I don't really have much of a following. Um, I see him as trying to kill me because I have an important message to, to deliver. So <laughs> my life could be at stake here. So what the other side is saying is, you know, Donald Trump equals nuclear war, Bernie Sanders equals no war. And he was supposed to help me out with this. So I see Mr. Foster as trying to kill me, basically. Um, you know, another thing the other side is telling me that he's my soulmate. They're saying that he's the other half of my soul. So at first I was like, all right, yeah, okay. He's pretty easy on the eyes and he's a rock star. Thanks, God. He did a good job. And then I realized he had 16 girlfriends. And the divine is like, well, you're number 17. I'm like, no, dude. I've seen too many episodes of Sister Wives for that. Not interested. No thanks. So, yeah, I, I look at this and I'm just like, okay, uh, that's my soulmate. That's my soulmate, the guy that never spoke his truth. I'm walking this path all by myself and I'm supposed to believe that that's the other half of my soul. It's like, the guy didn't even speak his truth. He's a total puss. Whatever, God. Gotta, gotta question the old choices there, but anyway. Another thing is, I have the ability to speak with Mark Foster's higher self. His higher self won't leave me alone. He shows up, pats me on the tummy and says, I'm gonna marry you, we're gonna have a son and I wanna name him Sam. Not short for anything, not short for Samuel or anything. I want to have a son and I want to name him Sam. Cute name, I guess. Guess I could go for that. If I didn't think he was a douche and if his lower self wasn't on Instagram clicking like on half naked photos of models and stuff, maybe that would happen, but I don't think so. No. So it's really fun being caught between the intentions of someone's higher self and lower self. That's just been a total blast. Um, number seven, he's a, he, he's a transplant. And 
As we all know, he's, he, he's not from Los Angeles, he's from Cleveland. I'm an LA native, that automatically makes me cool, it just, it just is. Uh, we don't have to try to be cool, we just are. I was born in Santa Monica, California, you can't get cooler than that. Guy's from Cleveland, right? Moved to LA. As we all know, transplants are like cancer to our sports teams. Guy walks into Staples Center, home of Los Angeles Lakers, with his little Cavaliers hat saying, Go LeBron! Go LeBron! Well, LeBron James works hard, but I'm sorry. You know what? If your team's walking onto the court with snow on the bottom of their shoes, then so should you. So, I don't know. This is a tough one here. Donald Trump might actually deport him back to Cleveland. Number eight. The guy wears white shoes with black pants and black shoes with white pants. Who does that? Would you want to be with someone like that? I don't even know if it can work. For that reason alone, it's a problem. It's a problem. Um, another thing that's especially upsetting for me is a cease and desist is a letter that you get from an attorney telling you to shut the hell up, right? I have what, like 11 YouTube videos about the guy at this point? I've never gotten anything. I'm not even cool enough to get a cease and desist from Mark Foster's camp, right? So that alone is an insult. Another thing is I have a thing for litigators. There's nothing hotter than a litigator. That's why court TV shows are so popular. That is just a man being a man right there, right? Nothing, nothing, I, I get nothing. So I don't even get to, to get my jollies off this situation, right? And last but not least, I just want to let everyone know, since it's all at the forefront of their mind, everyone's like, Christine, he can have any woman he wants. He can have like the hottest woman in the world. What would he want anything to do with you? I got news for you guys. You don't even know. I have Halloween costumes up the wazoo. That guy could have been with Cleopatra, Chewbacca, and Mrs. Roper all on the same night. His loss. Not gonna happen now. His loss. Forget it. Memorize. So, these are all the reasons why I hate Mark Foster. If I had to describe the hate, it's like a combination of anger, hate, disdain. It's just this like cornucopia of negative emotion. And if I had to put it in movie terms, I would say I'm like Ray Finkel in Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Lace is out! Where he just like hated Dan Marino because he was saying that he like didn't hold the ball properly for his field goal kick. So he like missed the field goal or something and ended up um, like losing the Super Bowl or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's a comedy, but I thought the, the Ray Finkel thing was a, a pretty good, accurate representation of how much I hate his guts. But just wanted to get this off my chest. It feels really therapeutic and really cathartic for me to finally speak my truth and just talk about it. God, you know, is playing Match.com with me and Mark Foster and, you know, just kind of like, <laughs> didn't work out. Um, but at the same time, you know, on a personal note, I have to be honest with you. Uh, I'm kind of mad at Mr. Foster for everybody <laughs> because I know, like I said, how important the message is that I have to deliver. So I'm pretty mad at him for, for everybody at this point, just because he knows I'm legit. I know that I speak directly to his soul because I'm the other half of it. I know that he's seen every one of my videos and he is well aware of my existence and what the deal is. This is his life purpose. This is his whole contract. So uh, that's what bothers me the most is that every morning he woke up and chose not to honor that. So I guess I'm just really hoping that his free will flip flops and he changes his mind. And to everyone else watching this video, in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.